Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And tonight I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it is for Strontium Dog. I got a new box set here called the Rogue SD Agent, uh, Rogue SD Agents. Uh, and uh, this is for the skirmish game Strontium Dog by Warlord Games. And uh, this is a box I've been waiting to get. I'm so happy that I got it. Uh, it comes with four figures. Um, uh, these Dervish Dogs. Fly Eyes, Wagner, and Slabhead. <laughs> Just to kind of give you a little bit of a closer look. Slabhead looks like a fish man. We've got Fly Eyes, obviously he's fly. Uh, uh, he's got Fly Eyes. Uh, gives you a little background and a story um, about Fly Eyes, Wagner. He's such a case. Uh, he's going rogue after killing his partner. <laughs> so four metal miniatures. We've got three character cards. We've got two armory cards and one uh, uh, chicanery card. So... Let's take a look. What's inside? Can't wait. Uh, I love these models. The game's a lot of fun, too. <laughs> Close the box back up. All right. Straight out of the package. So we have our models. And we got some uh, bases. Standard Warlord bases there. And the models itself come in this pack. Looks like that's where the cards are. Our armory and uh, chicanery cards. So we'll dump those out there. All right. Here we go. All right. So not... Looks like they're, uh, for the most part, one-piece models. With the exception of what looks like a weapon. Let's see. Dervish dog. Yep, we got an arm for the, uh, <laughs> uh, what's his name again? Oh, Slabhead, that's right. We got an arm to put on Slabhead, that's about it. So, a little bit of flash to cut off, things like that. Um, but very clean models, very very weird looking, but awesome. There's a, one of the Dervish dogs there. So, we got four. Take a look at the chicanery cards. Here we go. Pull these open. Whoa. All right. So the uh, last gasp is what we have. Some nice artwork on there. Obviously, you guys know that uh, that's a chicanery card and live wire and time trap. These are armory cards. So those three come with the set. And the characters cards, which is great. I love when skirmish games um, include stack cards with their games. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, they come with all the stats that you need, uh, what role they play, uh, their bounty, uh, their notoriety, and obviously their weapon stats. And if you flip it over, it tells you some of their special skills and uh, their association and allies. So we have slab head which is uh, Notoriety 4, and obviously Fly Eyes, Notoriety 12, and their skills on the back of the card. So there's three, three of those cards right there, the character cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tools that I normally use to uh, assemble figures. Then we'll assemble all four of these, and I'll come back and show you guys what they look like all on their bases and their stand. So I will be back in a sec.
All right, there you have it. Uh, that's the <laughs> the four of them uh, on the base. It wasn't really hard to do. You just had to put this, fit this arm onto, uh, I believe that's uh, a slab head, kind of a fish head. Um, real simple, just kind of uh, what you want to do is you kind of want to uh, 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 test it out first, or do a um, dry fit it on there to make sure you got it in the right position. Uh, cause they go, sometimes they go in a very certain way. This one, you can kind of, you know, maneuver a little bit, um, to fit it the way you want it, but not as, as much as you'd like. So, or if you want to move it into a more dynamic pose, you'd have to do some modeling, but nonetheless, very little flash. Looks like it got a line down the inside of the legs, but that's easy to clean up, uh, before you start, uh, um, oh, uh, priming it and preparing it and stuff like that. Um, they just look really cool. Uh, I like the Dervish dogs. I like fly eyes, very clean model, very nice sculpt, um, fits on the base, uh, very well. And that's one thing I did want to point out too, cause, uh, the bases are a little bit different, um, uh, compared to some of the other warlord game stuff. Um, I noticed they're different in this kit. They're not the, uh, in, in inverted bases like you're used to seeing with bolt action and beyond the gates of Antares and stuff like that these are nice flat bases um i do like these a lot I, I prefer them um just because you can raise it up sometimes i prefer having an inlet one um but uh these bases are nice and flat and that makes a big difference um especially in uh in bases and you get a, do get an extra one and i will hold on to that and i'll just show you an example of what i'm talking about if I can get the base, um, I'm sure most of you pre who have uh, prepared and and built some Warlord kits know of the standard one inch base uh, that comes with the bolt action and Beyond the Gates of Antares stuff. So just to compare the two, this is the one we're used to seeing. I've got a hair on it. <laughs> it's kind of an inlet, something like that, as you can see, and these ones are flat, which. Uh, for Strontium Dog, I don't think it's really necessary to have that inlet base. Uh, some people prefer it, um, but I have tons of these laying around in case I don't want to use these in the future. But I actually kind of like that. So, but uh, but yeah, they're pretty neat. They're pretty awesome. We're going to get these painted up. We're going to get them on the table as soon as possible. Um, so that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, as always, there'll be a uh, some pictures uh, of the models itself after this video per preceding um, me speaking to you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me some comments. Like this video. And last but not less, least, from me to you. Ta-ta! And I'll catch you in my next video.